Right, so I thought I'd talk today about Task Warrior. Now what Task Warrior is, is a brilliant command line um, tool for managing your task, managing your time. I use it quite frequently. It's, uh, it's very useful. So I'm going to bring it up. I, I'll talk a bit later on about how I got it all set up. But what it lets you do is it effectively lets you... Um, actually, I'll, I probably won't bring it up in there. Uh, so we have a task, and it just brings up a list of all the tasks you have. And if you really need to add a task, you can just uh, add a task. So I'll add like a, um, I don't know, random task like that. So if I do um, task again, you can see all the way at the bottom, I have a clean clothes, a C task. And I can modify it, so it has an ID at the start. So task 18 modify and then I can choose it to make it like a project so uh, what would this be housekeeping maybe so if I go to task you can see I have it as a project they can also give it a um, priority if I want it so priority priority high so if I go back to task you'll see that it's up at high and what this does is each thing you do, like there's a huge list of um, coefficients for modifying the urgency of different tasks. So you can set some project to be higher urgency, you can set some task to be higher urgency, and you can set due date and until date and wait date. So I'll talk a bit about due date. So task get in, modify, due, um, we'll say one day. So I can set it to be one day, I can specify. Uh, I can also do info. Uh, so you can see due. It's due in precisely one day, like the whole 24 hours. If you don't want it to be like that, you can have it um, be today, 24H. And if I look at it, it will end precisely tomorrow at midnight. Yeah, tomorrow at midnight. Um, so, yeah, really, it lets you do that. You can also specify different time formats. So if you want to specify it to be like, um, We'll say 1605 2020. Oh, yeah, German day, not day in one year. Okay, 05 I might have made a mistake there. Yeah, all right. Oh, I know why, why I'm doing this, okay. So if I set it at 17, it goes the same time as it would be if I just have today plus 24 hours. That's why it wasn't working. Um, <clears throat> so yes, I can just modify the date like that. I can have it as year, month, day. Um, I believe other less common time formats are available. I don't typically use them. Uh, now, the due date is just due whenever. So if I modify it to be due, um, we'll say 14. That would be yesterday. Um, you can see the urgency is due minus one day. That would be yesterday, and the urgency very high because it's you know obviously not being done. I can specify an until date. Um, so slash eighteen modify until. Um, we'll just go ahead and modify this one actually. So we'll say it was until yesterday. Now what until does is it will show it until that day, and if it passes that day or that specific time point, then it will just delete. Delete. Will it delete it? I believe it will delete it. Um, delete the task because you didn't do it, so there's no point doing it anymore at that point. So say I didn't do it then. If I look at task, it's gone. It was expired. Um, I'll go ahead and add a new task. So actually, I can do task undo. Yeah. So if I do task, I can uh, undo the thing I just did, so... I'll do that a couple of times. Yeah. 
Um, I can also set a wait date. What wait date does is it will not show it in your list like task until that specific date. <coughs> I can also specify burn down stuff. So I can also do task all, which will display all of them. Um, I can do task burn down daily, which will get me a burn down chart. Or I can do weekly, if I want it to be weekly, or monthly if well, if only like by month. Now that's pretty cool in my personal opinion here. Um, <coughs> what else did I talk about here? I talked about priority. Oh yeah, I should probably talk about how you actually complete them. So I can just specify I want to be done, put task getting done. Now if I go back to task, you can see it's, uh, it's been done. So if I undo it, I can do that. What else? I'm probably thinking Ah uh, yes, I know another one, Reco uh, recurring tasks. So you see here, I have one which is like just a daily event, so daily Pomodoro for game development. Um, <clears throat> now what I can do this here, is I can specify something to keep happening every so many days. Now what you do is when you create a recurring event, it creates a template event which is hidden, and it creates an actual not event, task, uh, an actual task which is not hidden. So you have a hidden one which is the parent and you have a visible one which is the actual recurring event. So in effect you have a recurring task which keeps coming up. So if I specify, I'll add a new one. Um, I don't know, just grab one for take out trash and we'll set it to recur daily um yeah oh i have to have, to have a due date and i've set it to due to today plus 24 hours so it will be like a recurring event every day and it will be due at the end of the day so yeah like that it creates a recurring template for the task i have a task here uh which recurs every day and it's due in 11 hours so Basically, just over. It's, it's technically 12 hours, but it's like 10 minutes behind 12, so it, it bounced down. Um, I am. Um, yeah. So, I have one more thing to show you. You can also list all the IDs of all the parents. So, if I do. plus parent IDs for. Um, Probably getting it slightly wrong. Oh yes, 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 yes. I know what it is. Oh, I think what it is. I think yeah. So with this, I can um show specific events, so uh, all the recurring events, so this shows oh, no, this is showing all of them, my bad yeah, so this shows all the recurring events so, I uh, one set here, which is the template, so the template just specifies information about the due date, the description the project, the priority when it recurs and all the extra information like, you see here, it says clearly that it's out of date here which I'll do here, that's because I made all those a while back. So, the template will be out of date, obviously, but the actual specification you vote for when it's due will look at every single time. So, now we'll talk a little bit about how I have it set up. So, at the top, I have it shown three of my uh, most urgent tasks. I have the daily burn down chart that I can see in, um, in real time, the amount of tasks that I have done and the amount that I have pending. As you can see, I'm not doing that great at the moment, but, uh, well, I mean, it's acceptable. So, I'll talk a little bit about how I have this set up. So, SCVMTMOX dot. So, what I have is I have a. So, I'm using D menu first off to uh, bring up the task like that. And when, when it gets selected, I will check if it exists. 
if it doesn't exist, I just attach the session and just bring it up. If it doesn't exist, I create a new um, I create a new session, and in the top one, I just have it show all the uh, tasks with the high priority and like three of them, and then I just wait like five seconds between each refresh of that, and then I split the window vertically by 75%, so you have like 75% at the bottom. Then you split it horizontally 30%, so you have the 30% at the right side. And that's doing the daily burn down daily, and that's like every 5 seconds. And then I just select the pane on the left, and then it just attaches the session. So, that was something really cool. I didn't actually know that Tmux for the longest time, that like you could just auto-generate a certain like work, um, work environment like this, which was very, very nice. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if I do tmux ls, you can see I have a tasks, and then I can just tmux attach dash to tasks, and you can see it just brings it up, and I can even just you know close it like that, bring it back up if I want to. It just it's very nice, it's a very nice setup. It works pretty well for me. I'm gonna highly recommend you check it out. It's very useful to me because there were a couple of requirements that led me to using this. There was um the fact that I wanted to be like actually in control of it, so not a browser. Well, I mean, it would have been funny to put the application because I was using Tiddly Wiki for some time to do a similar thing. But Tiddly Wiki has some upkeep to actually keep that going, like a lot of um, a lot more upkeep to keep it working. Whereas with with um, Task Warrior, it just works. It just it's just there, you know. Um, that was another requirement, I think. I had to be in control of the files, so I could easily transition to any other system if I wanted to. And I think that might be the only two at the moment. I know it has task servers, so you can just offload it to a server of your own and keep it synchronized between your desktop, your phone, your um, your laptop. It's really quite a nice uh, application. I'm going to highly recommend it to anybody who's looking for a good task setup for like a Linux system. I believe it works for Mac, I believe it works for Windows as well. With Windows you probably have a bit of a setup. Uh, oh yes, I was going to talk a little bit about a couple of things uh, before I go. Um, if you're looking for like a better, more complete tutorial, I'm going to highly recommend you just go on YouTube, you search it up. Uh, Tommy Bab... I'm going to butcher his name. Tommy Babej. Um, create like a tutorial on it. You've got like a very extensive one here, and you've got a shorter one, which is more like a brief overview. And then the website, I'm probably going to leave this one in the description. It's just you can go there and you can find the documentation and you can download it as you need to. I, I'm not sure which. Yeah, it supports Windows. And it supports Linux, and it probably supports Mac. I'm not. Yeah, it supports Mac. You can just brew and store. I I highly recommend it. And for Windows, you can do it on Windows. I'm not gonna. I don't know how you do it on Windows because I don't really. I don't use Windows anymore. I didn't use this on Windows, so. Oh well. That's all. Uh, catch you later. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, comment, email, blah blah blah. You do the other stuff that get the uh, variables up. Bye.